Uh, Coach Mike, thank you very much for your time and uh, congratulations on your win. Your under 15 boys made you proud. They are the Gauteng Development League uh, champions. Uh, how did you see the game? Uh, I think the game went very well. Obviously, we played with the team three weeks back and we understood what they're made of. We understood how they play. He likes to start the ball from the back. And uh, I think today they were not that comfortable. We managed to press them very high to make sure that they don't have time to space to build up. And uh, everything went according to the plans. Uh, we, uh, we planned uh, throughout the week and then we managed to master that. Uh, these are the finals. You had two teams. Uh, your under 13 was here, so uh, you're under 15. Uh, it shows that Super Sport is doing something well if their teams reach such a uh, distinct of the tournament. What is it that you are doing at uh, Super Sport with Development? Obviously, our, most of our kids are starting with the Super Sport United Soccer School, where we focus more on the technical work and tactical work, just to make sure that whenever the kids get to the age of 18, 15, they understand those things, they're ready, they understand how to implement them in the match, uh, more importantly, with the resistance. And yeah, the, there's been a lot of improvement from the individuals, you know. It's always good to see kids improving and more importantly playing such tournaments, still executing everything that they've been taught at the early age. So yeah, so it's, it's been a very good journey for the class. And uh, well done to them, Mike, once again. Uh, coach, as football fans, we, we just watched that game and say, each guy did 20 year balls. But we do not understand that at under 13, under 15, and under 17, and under 19, you expect different outcomes from these boys. Yes. If you could just briefly uh, just tell us at under 13, 15, 17, 19, what is it that you expect in terms of the development of a young player? Uh, from that age, you obviously you expect a player that is technically proficient, technically very good as well sound, he understands the game better, physically very strong and understands how to use his body and the most important one is mental attributes. If the player can be able to tick all those four pillars, the player can be able to compete at the highest level. So at that age we expect players to have all those four pillars to be able to compete not only in South Africa but to compete, uh, compete worldwide. Uh, as a development coach, uh, I think you, 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 keep, you keep up with what is happening around the world. And what you've seen what uh, Spain has done with Pedri, uh, Barcelona with Puk and all these other young stars, that, uh, teenagers playing in the first team, in the national team. Yeah. Uh, we hardly see that here in South Africa. Why do you think we are so behind? Uh, for me, the most important thing that has to be looked at um, in our country the development at the early age, you know, funny enough, I was speaking to one of the coaches just now to say, uh, these kids, they get to the uh, age of 18, not, not ready yet in terms of technical work, because of the education from uh, the young age was not uh, uh, implemented in, in the right way. So the boys, as soon as they get to the age of 18, they still have to be taught all those things that they should have been taught at the early age. If the country can come together and come up with a way, like uh, structures like Super Sport and Soccer School, where kids are taught from the early age, I think that can help us to be able to compete with the, with the, with the teams overseas. Uh, lucky enough, um, I had the privilege to go overseas uh, three years back. Uh, and again, I'm going next month to Spain. You know, those things, to see how things are done from the early age, I think it gives us the right to say this is what we can do in terms of changing our football in the country. Uh, as coaches that development structures, you recruit players obviously at all ages. And uh, some didn't go through the proper channels that, like you just mentioned and uh, they come and join you with maybe some of the wrong things that they have learned that they still need to unlearn and while you have a team that you've been growing up with uh, that understands those things what are the challenges of trying to integrate these players so that they if, while they unlearn these things that they, the wrong things they've learned they also keep up with the group that has been learning from the early ages of seven and eight uh the problem is that you 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 as soon as they get to that age and you teach them those things when, I mean, they are 15 years old, 
it 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 also delayed the progress of the other kids that they've been doing it for quite some time and now you as a coach you still need to address the issues that you should have been addressed at the early age which delays the progress of the kids that's why you find us having 23 years old starting to play the football uh, at, at the highest level which should be done at the age of 16 but during that 16 years old we're still trying to unteach the habits that they've been learning and you know trying to teach them the technique trying to teach them how to analyze the game as a player uh, when do we catch them on the counter how do we even use the coaching board because the kids get exposed to those things at the age of 15 uh, 17 which should be done at the age of 12 you know you know how to read uh, the moments of the game how to open the space movement of the ball to attack the oppositions you know, if they are pressing us high, how do we play those long passes to make sure that uh, we get the goals? You know, those kids, the kids see those things when they are 17. They start to be taught at that age. For me, it's late. It should be done there at the grassroots level. When they get there, they are ready to just uh, introduce uh, some other things that can help them to compete. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Uh, very insightful thoughts on football development. Uh, once again, congratulations on the win by your team and thank you for your time. Thank you very much for, for the interview and congratulations to the boys. I think they've worked very hard this season. It's been a very, very hectic season for them. A lot of players got injured, you know, uh, but they've, they've managed to pull out a nice uh, results at the end of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you.